Phil. Oh, Limpy. We don't really know, but I'm glad you all found it. It's two down, one to go today. <laughs> Sally is the middle one of our three daughters. And my job as father of the bride is to say a few things to you about her, our little beauty, that you may not know. <laughs> but I expect, I expect many of you know a lot more of her secrets than we will ever know. <laughs> Especially the hen crowd that went to support over news. <laughs> I hope she only flashed her engagement ring. <laughs> Sally's going to be 30 next week. Oh, She's a Leo. Yes. A lioness, a little lioness, but a silent prowler, no, no, no. She bangs and crashes around the place like a rhinoceros. Never live below Sally. The lady in the flat below spends half her life complaining about the noise and the other half having treatment for it. But Sally does have one lioness quality. She likes to pounce on people. Always has done. When they're least aware, and always from behind. And it's not very funny if you wear glasses or your teeth aren't fixed in properly. <laughs> Sally and I have spent many happy hours driving to and from Soho where we work in my car. And she likes to talk over all of the decisions on these trips. Big decisions, medium-sized decisions, small decisions, fours and against, in and out, pros and cons, shall I, shall I? She doesn't even notice that I started wearing headphones. <laughs> <laughs> all those that know Sally realise that she's a great fun-loving party owner. She can stay up all night and drink most of the boys under the table. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. She also likes adventure. She went around the world with Anthea backpacking when they were 18. And more recently has set up her own company called Visual and Multimedia Productions. And she calls it Thamp. <laughs> Great name. It wasn't her first choice of name. Her first choice of name was Technical Interactive Television Services. <laughs> We're delighted today that Sally has decided to take the plunge and marry John. And John, as you probably know, most of you, is a true sportsman. Well, he's gone here to take Sally on. <laughs> Since they've been together, Sally's acquired her first pair of running shoes. And she's already run her first mini marathon. I think it was backwards and forwards to say centuries or something. She did it anyway. She's already become a budden athlete. We're also very happy to have got to know John's family and the Budden clan and they're a great crowd. Uh, they're really quite normal. <laughs> they tell you that. <laughs> well, only ever so slightly strange. Um, Brenda, John's mum, uh, she's got a hobby. She teaches perfectly capable dogs how to walk properly. <laughs> and Ted... Shut up. <laughs> Slice and <laughs> I don't collect them, I'll kill them. <laughs> anyway, told us that 1058 was one night's record. <laughs> I think if these activities persist, they might end up in better. But that's alright because Laura's already in there. <laughs> But she could probably get them to jump the queue. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for coming today 
come from many parts of the world. world. Yes, world. We've got somebody here from. What's the home? What's the And we have Spain. Oh, yes. And we have Switzerland. Yay. And we have Liechtenstein. Yeah. And we have Scotland. Yeah. And Wales. Yeah. And Folkestone. Yeah. And yeah. I'd like to thank everybody that's helped putting today together with the arrangements. Especially Chris, yeah. my first wife. Yeah. set the world record for travelling up and down the M20. <laughs> Chris told me to keep my speech short today because of my throat. If I didn't, she said she'd cut it. <laughs> Finally, this is almost the end of it, um, we have two birthdays here today. As far as I know, there might be more. Where's Auntie Edie? Oh. Happy birthday, oh. Auntie Edie. <laughs> A rather elderly gentleman <laughs> who needs treating with the utmost respect. Uh, JP, John, happy birthday. <laughs>